Taking a name for myself one day at a time Coloring a turn on the line Seems like a hell of a crime If you are not a Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be back. Finally, I can make a video here from Peru now and I can update you on what's going on, what I've been doing here. We've been in Lima uh, for about a month. Now it's been crazy. We are doing, we have a lot of stuff to do, some paperwork, organizing here in the house and everything. So it's been a little chaotic all the moving part. But yeah, we're very happy finally I can make a video. I just wanted to show up and tell you what I've been doing. We've been spending time with family and friends. I'm going to show you some footage, like in mural, what I'm talking to you. We spent Father's Day here with my dad, who is very happy, of course, that now that is, he's not alone anymore, we are living with him here in his house my childhood home and yeah it's bittersweet because uh, some of you may know my mom is not here anymore and everything uh, reminds me of her here she, it, this was her home she ran her, this home uh, beautifully um, she loved cooking she loved gardening the garden always looked beautiful with her, the decor, she was in charge of everything. So to be honest, sometimes I feel like an intruder because I'm in her home, I'm in charge of the stuff that she would do and I, I have to see all of that. I don't know, it's weird. But yeah, I know she, she would like me to do my best and take care of this home as she did and that's what I'm trying to do. I hope I can be at least half as good as she was. Um, but little by little, because as I said, we've been running like crazy with some paperwork and stuff we needed to do. It's been a month almost, and I, I just finished unpacking all our, of our suitcases, all of, all of our luggage is crazy. Finally, I finished with that arranging all of that in our bedroom. And now next is going to be the kitchen. Even though last year we started decluttering um, the house, we are still, we still have some things to declutter, to organize, to see what we are going to donate, to give away or sell maybe. There are many things. And yeah, as I said, the kitchen is next. That part of the house is pretty full of stuff that or some of them don't work anymore or they have to be replaced so we have to see all of that. It's going to be fun, stressful but <laughs> fun at the same time. And yeah, as I said, my dad is very happy. Finally, we are here with him and, and I'm so glad that I can be with him, helping him. Um, he's very active for his age. But still, sometimes he, if he has a doctor's appointment or something, I can help him, I can go with him, I, and I just can be with him and be his support. So yeah, I'm very happy about it. Olivia is doing good too. She's still adjusting. Kids um, adjust faster than adults, but still she, um, she graduated kindergarten in May, back in May. But here for, um, in Peru, because of her age, she has, she has to continue doing kindergarten because the school year here is from March to December. So she still has to do it until December. Then next year she will start in March, first grade. So we enroll her in a little school so she can continue kindergarten. It's just four hours a day, so it's like summer school kind of but she's adjusting to the language. I speak to her in Spanish. She understands everything I say in Spanish, but she only wants to speak English. So now here she's forced to communicate in Spanish too. And it's going to take some time for her to fully adjust little by little. Like sometimes she gets frustrated in school because people cannot understand her and she doesn't know how to say some things. So. She's struggling a bit 
uh, with that, but in general, she's happy at school, uh, all the activities they are doing, I pick her up and she's happy, telling me what they did in the day, so yeah, little by little, uh, it's going to get better. And yeah, I'm going to um, show you a little of behind the scenes what we've been doing, the places, like I told you, Lima is a beautiful city, we've been um, visiting some places that I'm going to show you here. Probably on my next video I will do a proper vlog, um, but now I'm going to show you just a little bit. It's a new chapter in our lives and we're very excited about it. Um, I miss my mom every day, and, but I, I'm, at the same time I feel she's here with us. Um, and yeah, I'm going to show you some parts of the house. This is a very old house and over the years there have been some renovations here and there but overall it's still old and as you can see the garden I think is the last step for me to see because there is a lot to do um, unfortunately some of my mom's flowers <laughs> are dead or they are not in the best condition, we have to see all of that, so yeah, there are many things in this house that needs to be, um, they need some TLC, but yeah, uh, hopefully I can do it, like, that it won't take that long, but yeah, I'm very happy to show you all that process with you, not only in the house, but also, as I said, in Lima, in the city, all the things we're going to do, um, thank you so much for joining me in this new adventure. Sorry for the noise, I'm in the terrace right now, the wind and the noise. But yeah, thank you so much uh, for always be there. All, all of you that stayed, because I, as I said in my last video, um, many people uh, follow me or were subscribed to my channel because of my Magnolia videos. And now that I announced that I moved, um, those videos are going to stop. And so uh, some people unsubscribe and it wasn't, I was expecting that. Thank you so much. If you stayed, please leave me a comment down below. If you want to see something, what would you like to see on my channel? I'm open to suggestions. Um, I love reading your comments. So yes, I hope you enjoy all the things I'm going to show you and hopefully I can make at least a weekly vlog for you. So again, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'm making a name for myself one day at a time Coloring outside of the line seems like a hell of a crime If you're not empty inside, but why does it gotta be me all the time? Think about what excites me, let's dance with the stars and moonbeams So sick and tired of waiting